on a very quick note, I want to do a shout out to Super Princess Jo, who is also a beauty YouTuber here. And I believe she's original from India and she's residing here in Singapore. And it's one of her early videos where something similar to how to save money in Singapore that inspired me to do my very own video where I share with you guys my tips on how you can save money. So do go and show her some love and let her know that I sent you. I'll be linking her channel information down below along with the video that I'm talking about that inspired me to do this video. So let's get into it. Ways to save your money in Singapore. Always make sure that you have a bottle of water with you whenever you know that you will be leaving home and towards your destination. You will never know when you will be feeling thirsty and this actually reduces the number of transactions made at convenience stores and hypermarkets just to get ourselves a bottle of water because these days bottled waters are very expensive. Likewise, always make sure that you carry snacks with you be it an apple cut into small bite-sized pieces or a piece of granola bar or even pack along a small carton of chocolate milk, just something for you to snack on till your next meal so you can actually reduce the number of visits to convenience stores in getting yourself something really unhealthy like a Snickers bar or a chocolate treat. If it's going to be a day where you're not going to be cooking for your family at home and you choose to be eating out, I would suggest that you try hawker stalls. At these hawker centers, hawker stalls and food court, I would say that there's a lot more variety of food stalls available for everyone in the family and you can actually let your food preference be known to the hawker, be it you would like to have more soup, lesser rice or more veggies and they tend to accommodate your food preference or food requests also. The prices of food at the hawker centers and food courts are reasonably priced and budget friendly. Always look out for coupon flyers in your mailbox from KFC, McDonald's, Pizza Hut and other fast food companies where they have the coupons where you can tear them off and enjoy the slash prices for a limited time and these come in handy when you have unexpected guests over. Groceries from the supermarket, I like to look for more information in the newspaper because they have a lot more info on their items on sales, slash prices and duration. House brands are a lot lesser so you can actually give that a try and see if you like it. As a general rule, seasonal fruits and vegetables cost much lesser and you can actually take this into your advantage. If you just need a haircut or a hair trim, Easy House does haircuts for $10 under 10 minutes. I believe otherwise it's free, so you can actually go and check them out. For those of you who enjoy reading, try borrowing books from your National Library Board because they have extensive selection and of recent time, I believe they've expanded a lot more, so there's something for everyone. Just make sure that you return the books on time so that you do not have to pay the fines. For exercise lovers who do not want to be spending a lot of money on the gym memberships, personal trainers and very expensive and heavy gym equipment, go and have a good look at your neighborhood parks because they have designated areas with a lot of this exercise equipment. Or you can also invest in an exercise DVD. Mustafa Center has a huge variety of options available. Or why not go for just a simple walk and enjoy a little bit of greenery? Choose public transport over everything else. Avoid taxis at all costs if you want to see a lot more money in your bank balance. For movie lovers, I highly suggest that you go and check your cineplexes on your websites for weekly deals, credit card deals, discounted prices on certain days of the week, cine citizen concession, and a child can actually watch for free if they're being accompanied by an adult. More bang for your buck. You can invite your friends over to your place for some coffee or tea and you can bake some cookies and cakes instead of having to meet at a coffee place and you save money instantly. If you're someone who does a lot of cooking, I would suggest that you buy your ingredients in bulk just so that it will cost a lot lesser for each individual item. For example, I do a lot of Indian cooking so I usually get a lot of my Indian groceries from Little India and some provision stores from there, they usually have free delivery services to your doorstep if you achieve a certain amount of transaction amount so bear that in mind. For households who are expecting babies in the near future, I highly suggest that you look out for sales that happen in big convention centers like Changi Expo because you have a lot of vendors under one roof, that's one thing, and you save up a lot of time and energy rather than having to go back and forth and getting one item and checking it off your list. You probably would be able to find everything just in time for your baby's arrival, so that is a huge plus. Look out for sales! It's as easy as that! There's always the end of season sales, clearance sales. I believe there's a pre Great Singapore sale, the Great Singapore sale itself, and we have the festival sales such as the Chinese New Year, Bazaar, 
Hari Raya Haji, the Deepali Bazaar and the Christmas season sale. Also during the Christmas season, there are a lot of department stores that offer free gift wrapping services where you buy gifts for your family and friends from them. So do take note of that because I always tend to forget when I'm in a rush. If you like to do online shopping like myself, don't forget to go and check out sites like Q10, Groupon, Lazada, Zalora and Singsale because they have amazing deals over there. So guys, that was it. If you feel like I've missed out some tip, don't forget to share in the comment section down below because everybody wants to save money. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! Okay, I'm gonna try say this as smoothly as possible. As a general uh, tip number five, my hands look extremely manly. During the Christmas season, there are a lot of department stores that offers free gift wrapping services. So do take note of this because I tend to forget when I'm in a rush and I usually have to wrap the gifts by myself when it's closer to Christmas, which is always time consuming I must say. <laughs>